Hello everyone, this is Harper Boy. Yes, we did a different intro and this is a new series called Vulture SMP. Yes, yes, I am now part of a uh, server called Vulture SMP. Let's get out of the F1 mode. And yeah, I've been getting some items, but one death because I died in some lava while mining. Um, well, not in the lava, I like stepped in it, stepped out and then burned to death. So I was secure, I did secure all my items. And I simply just placed this chest down so that I had a... Uh, why did I place it down again? I really can't remember. I placed the chest down so that I could have nothing in my hand so that I could stand there and just be like, hey, so, yep, I've gone out and uh, done some stuff on the server already. But first, before all of that, uh, why am I here and what is this new server? This is a server that Ben underscore Andy set up and uh, I'll leave a link in the description to any guys' channels on the server who I mention. Possibly if I can... If I can find a link to everyone's channel, I'll try and put them all in the description. But essentially, Hyperius got whitelisted on this server a little bit ago, and uh, I just asked him if it were possible for me to get whitelisted, and he was like, well, there's no spots currently and whatever, but he wrote back to me and said, uh, when name changes are released, you can have it. And yep, name changes have been released, so my name has been changed from Ben underscore new to Harper Boy. Uh, so he didn't want people thinking that he got a new account with it being Ben and Ben. Two Bens on the server, yep, yep. <laughs> Things are going to start to get confusing. And uh, that was inefficient to eat that, but oh well, at least we've cut into the bread now. Um, so there we go. That is how the history of the server kind of is. We'll possibly do some collabs with Hyperius in the future. And yeah, I just wanted to do this little intro, but what we've currently got is the castle, which is where kind of I guess everything is sort of based. Um, got cow farms here um, cow farm for leather and then we've got this is for me that's coming at a later date I don't want to really say what that is but I suppose now it's there I should do um, also I'm going to turn those sounds down because they don't need to be that loud um, but right <laughs> like on the old map uh, not old map, Heartbleed I want to do um, Iron Titan and I actually never got around to doing it because of this server stopping. But this time I've already said to the guys, I am building the Iron Titan and we'll move the spawn chunks to make way for it. And here we go. I told the guys this morning, Carol Light, sure I'll donate 10 already. So I've written a little memo to tell me that when I get my base set up, which we will do in today's episode, then we will um, have a place to put that and I'll just put a little note on the side. Now, <clears throat> Ben underscore Randy was really kind. He gave me all this iron armor some iron blocks, some iron, I went out and got mining for all the diamonds and everything, this was all without fortune, I got 22 diamonds, made my diamond pickaxes and a diamond sword, that was the one that I used to get all the diamonds, if you look at the durability, it did wear down quite a bit, and then um, I spotted the enchant when I managed to get 30 levels over at the skeleton grinder, which I'll go and show you in just a moment, and then I was like, oh, fortune free, but I don't have any lapis, so Ben will score Andy, yep, here you go Ben, you can have some lapis. <laughs> I'm going to end up confusing you guys. I'll say Harper for my name if you want. That would be the most easiest thing for me to do. <clears throat> and yeah, so I am dead excited to get re really to get started into this series. And uh, now there is a build server also for the server, which I will take you on to later on in the episode if I remember. Hopefully I can. Um, but currently I'll just take you up to the skeleton grinder. See, I can show you that. Skelly spawner, that's what it's called, sorry. Um, but we are going to also, at some point, do a tour of everyone's base. So in each episode, we'll do one person's base. So in this one, we are going to be doing Ben and Scorandis. I would do Hyperius as well, but I don't know if he's got a base or anything like that. But yeah, there's this is the area and you get like the drops and the arrows and whatever else. That's where I managed to pick up a free bow from the bow's chest right there. So, you go over here, the lights are already off. So if they're already on, then you just hit that button to activate the farm. You stand behind this door, AFK for around half an hour. And then pop back out, hit the crusher. It'll crush them all down to one hit punch, one punch kill. If that makes sense. Let's turn the lights on so we don't get any extras. And there's only two in here, so this is gonna be see, one punch, and then that one was obviously later, so that'll be however many hits that just was. And we'll drop off the excess bone into there. So yeah, that's how that works. And yes, I've also 
claimed myself a chest. This one right here. As everyone had chests for like storage and different things, I think it's like uh, any personal items you want to keep in case you lose anything while AFK. I'm not too sure what its entire idea is, but I claim myself a chest because why not? So <laughs> there it is in the top corner. There's Hyperius's right there. He's not storing anything currently, and of course it's a pressure plate. I don't know why I did that. So let's head on back on through to the overworld, and I will show you where I'm hoping to build my first little starter house. It's going to be a little kind of wooden hut just there for me to start off the ball rolling and just have a place to store all my items because I've got an idea for a base in the future. Now, currently, I've got a stronghold and a mesa, so stronghold's over there, mesa that way, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to go off and show you those. In today's episode, I haven't even been there myself, so that will be something that I have to do in the future. I'll possibly get some better armor because I don't want any gas attacking me while doing that, but yeah, what was I going to do? Um... Why don't we check out Ben underscore Andy's base? Because I got completely caught up there, and uh, yeah, I should have cut to the chase and sort of got to the point, but I believe that there wasn't anything else to cover. I don't know. But anyway, we're down in Ben underscore Andy's base, if you didn't already know that. So, yeah, he's got this slime block elevator kind of thing, and then he's got a big redstone sorting system all here. Nice and dandy. Of all his good stuff, and I don't know what I'm doing. I end up doing too much stuff at once and stuff. But let's take a look at the redstone behind this thing because uh, that is kind of the thing that I'm most quite amazed at. Oh, well then, <laughs> I didn't know about this area. I don't know what he's been hiding. Okay, this looks kind of interesting. I guess this is like the redstone for all of his uh, projects. I believe this is the one way portal. I assume avoid. I think the dispensers and everything is just there for uh, kind of style kind of thing. I'm not sure. Let's uh, hop on over here. And I also noticed that I do say uh, a lot in episodes. And I'm, I'm going to try and cut down on that. And uh, I hope <laughs> I've done it again. And I hope that I already have uh, kind of cut down on that. But do items get clogged up in these? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I can't see anymore. Let's get down to that bottom one. Nope, nope, oh, one item there, yeah. So items kind of get dropped off in these. I might have to teach him that you can add in those uh, ones that go all the way up without losing any items whatsoever. But yeah, this is his thing. You'll put it into that chest that we saw. Now, where is it? Let's take a look. Oh, it's right there. Under there, and you put some items in the chest. It'll flow all the way into there, up into the item system down and across into the item sorter which if I can find my bearings we can make our way across but I can't seem to find the way around there we go and then it just go run all the way across the top here sort down into all them chests that you've seen around the front and that's just how that works if any of you didn't understand that then sorry I went too fast <laughs> but other than that yeah this is kind of his area now I went ahead and made myself some shears because I did destroy one of the leave blocks over by the castle and I got some shears and decided to get some more leaves to replace it because I didn't want anyone knowing so anyone that didn't know that, yeah that's what happened I don't know if they're up for grabs or whatever oh they, these are bends I'm thinking this is a community area yeah that's it that must have been part of what he gave me from the lapis or something his other lapis supplies I'll say and this is uh, Green's room don't ask about the buttons, okay so, I've not asked because he said don't ask, but I don't know who Green is, typically. I haven't seen him yet on the server, I don't believe, but uh, yeah, I guess this is his kind of area of things that he kind of gets around to doing and different things like that. So, I have actually blabbed on for long enough at the beginning of this episode, and I'm pretty sure that there was one more thing that I was going to talk about, but I just can't seem to get my head around it, so... I, really I realised exactly what it was that I was trying to think about, and it was that we were going to look at where I should be doing my base, and that's what we're going to do right now, and then we'll hop to it and create this wonderful base. Um, it's not going to be wonderful at all. It's going to be quite shabby, actually, and not too great. So, uh, okay, not too good. By the way, mob griefing is currently off because of Enderman and things and Ben underscore Andy is yet to turn that back on which hopefully should be done very soon and yeah that's just the only reason if you hear creeper explosions and nothing happens that's why I can 
go up to them and kind of make them explode without anything happening. I don't know whose house this is actually. Oh, interesting. Harry's hole. Don't know what that is. Go assume that Harry made that, one of the members. And, uh, what's in here? Oh. Well done. What a genius I am. Let's shut that door. Open this door. No, not that door. This door. I am getting so confused. Anyway, let's hop down here where abouts I want to build my base. Which is actually going to go near Matt's area right now. Um, over here is Matt's area, that bridge there. And from that bridge, you'll get a good view of where I want to be building my base. I could actually build it around here. Hmm. Yeah, I actually want to build it here. I was going to go for somewhere over there, but I think this area should be good. Let me just check if there's anything else. Around here, random sign on a green thing. But yeah, I, I am the noob uh, guy kind of person because I only joined yesterday and already I'm hopping to this. I hope you've seen the exclusive video. This is, of course, a new series from that video which I released. So, hmm, I think we'll have the base around here. Yep, that's what we're going to do. And we are going to do the good old fashioned time lapse that I love doing. So we are going to kit off the camera account and you should be hearing some music about now. Not the best of time lapses, was it? We just built this basic uh, little house, I guess. But this is going to be where we're going to be storing stuff. I will fancy things up in the future. This is not just the final design. I simply ran out of materials and things towards the end. So I had to run off quite a few times and grab some more stuff. But yeah, I've done all that now. So we can call this complete for now and ready to be furnished with whatever we need to put in it. So to start with, we'll just go ahead and place down our crafting table and furnace. Now we'll come over and get our chest. And all the items from within should just be like uh, spread around the floor nicely. Let's drop off quite a few things just like that so we can pick up this chest. Let's try and do that. There we go. And now we'll run inside. Boom. And uh, let's shift click everything in. Just so we've got everything for now. And then I'll go back and get everything else. What's on the floor? There we go. And we'll go want to make another chest as well. So we'll open this and take out some more wood. 
and make ourselves another chest so we can have this chest as a double chest, which is uh, the whole idea. <coughs> so yeah, that is the idea. What that is what we're currently going for, and yeah, we will organise items differently to this, and this is just going to be obviously the temporary house. And I've got a spare sign in here, I believe. There we go. So let's put above the door. Um, it's my house. <laughs> I am not very creative, I know. Um, but what I thought that we couldn't can do, actually, on camera, um, right now, is some little uh, spicing up of things. Now, the main road kind of area, this has obviously been... Oh, it hasn't been done using silk touch. This is gravel, is it? Yeah, it's gravel all the time. Okay. I was going to uh, have a look into doing some other thing or something, but... Hmm. I think what we'll do instead is we'll go around and place a few leaves down. Pretty up the place. We'd, that's going to make it symmetrical. And that's one thing that I need to get away from in Minecraft. The fact that I like to have things symmetrical. And that shouldn't be a thing. Let's also get my shears. So if I place one wrong, it can always be removed. The idea was to place in some gravel and whatever as well. But I haven't done the path yet. So we haven't got a path in order to do that. And, hmm. We may need to do some terraforming as, as well as around the area. As well around the area. I'm not sure. We'll try maybe that. That. And um, ah, I always break them off this, and I shouldn't. I should try and stop that and place that like that. And oh, we're going to need some more dirt. Yeah, this is my, me kind of uh, attempting to terraform. I can to I, I suppose it's called landscaping in a way, but I can um, practically terraform. It's just the fact of me not being able to do it properly in my head um, and I've decided that I don't want that there <coughs> so all that terraforming I don't actually want that there but what we'll have is here we'll go ahead and add some in like that and yeah I think that looks okay cut down all these tall grass it does definitely need something doing to it I don't know what that is but it does need something whether that be just adding in a few more of these here and there, like there, and maybe one here, here, and I just don't know. This is this is kind of the uh, situation that we're faced with. It's uh, how to position the bushes to make things what nicer. If that makes sense. Hopefully that looks a bit nicer than what it did do. Anyway, <laughs> we have going to probably have some time to fill. I haven't checked on the how on the time lapse is. I haven't even edited that yet or anything like that. But I guess that we can go a maximum of half an hour for the episode. So that means that we have got some uh, time to kill actually because I don't believe the time lapse will be long at all. So I'm actually going to put these shears back. And nothing else that I need out of there. Nope. Hmm. I think we should do a little bit of enchanting. And I think that we should uh, do it on the iron armor. And if not, I'm going to bring some diamonds and some wood along. Just in case, like, if we're doing enchanting, then yeah, that's what we're going to need. Let's hop on over to the enchanting area by the castle and we'll have a look. And yeah, the, the bushes there with the added effects, they're a lot better than how I was doing them, kind of. I, I've got to get used to this whole layout kind of thing. Possibly using stone half slabs like that. Half slabs, not half slabs. <laughs> it's my uh, accent, I guess. And I like the way these things work. They're in the uh, flipped mode, if that makes sense. And that one is going to always be uh, inverted because... Is that right? No. Because of the blocks above it, so... Might need to speak to the guys about possibly moving that one. Why is that one still on? Has that one been touched? 
Oh, okay, it's in the middle of day and night, so it's going down now. And then it's going to start and get dark, which you've already turned on, which not the best, really. But they just get inverted, so because they don't need a high single sig signal strength, uh, nothing kind of goes bad, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But, yeah, I'm over by the enchanting area now. Um, hold on. What we're going to do, we're going to take off all our armor. See what we can get on breaking free. Not good enough. I'm breaking free, not good enough. I'm breaking free, that's possibly just what we'll get. I'd like to play it safe, Feather Falling 1 is not good though. Hmm. On the bow, Power 3. Let's go for Power 3. Flame 1 and Power 3. Helmet, Fire Protection, I'm breaking Echo Affinity. Protection, Fire Protection, Depth Strider. I'm breaking, I'm breaking, for blast protection. And projectile protection, I'm breaking, and protection. Nope, we're not going to go for any of those, so we'll just put the armor back on. And there we go, we've got a nice enchanted bow. Let's have a look. Pretty nice indeed. So, yeah, that is uh, things and how things are operating over on the server. Hmm. I do feel like we need to do some exploring or showing off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hop on over to the build server. I'll check the episode time without the time lapse. I've done about four minutes or something for the time lapse. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Just to make sure what time we're on and everything. But I think I'll actually hop on over to the build server and show you that. Because what I'm going to do from now on is start building everything over in creative. Then recreate it over here. And I'll build that on the build server and then come into survival and build it. And if I want to show you what I'm going to build then I'll obviously show you. If not then I'm just going to build it and then leave it but here we are we have got um, yeah stuff and things going down um, as always so what we've uh, hold on I am I am blabbing and I have a habit of doing things like that I will hop onto the build server and show you what is over there so I'll catch you 20 in minutes without the time lapse and I think it's kind of necessary to wrap up the video but before we do, we just want to take a look at the creative build server. This looks like something that someone's done recently. This wasn't here yesterday when I logged on, so that must be recent. But yeah, most of the builds on the server, I guess you recognise some of these from the actual server. There. So yeah, this is where they obviously happen before um, kind of people do anything, if that makes sense. And we've also got World Edit on the server, so we can just do like... Uh, so set stone, grass, so yeah we can just do stuff fast if we want to, but it's just here as a creative sole purpose server, and to Ben obviously, Ben underscore Andy because he was here before me and that was already there, and then they've made a Pokemon, which I know that's Pokemon, I play Pokemon, and over here looks like a kind of modern mansion, so that looks kind of cool, hmm. This could be someone's future base or something. I really apologise to anyone if I am spoiling anything, but this is all the public build server, so I really hope that I'm not uh, spoiling anything for anyone in episodes. It's not the public build server, so it's just our build server. Wow. <laughs> a water city. No, that's a village that's been turned into water and imported kind of thing. That's at least that what that's what it looks like. I cannot talk for today's episode. But anyway, guys, I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up right there because that seems like a good place to end things when I'm talking about me blabbing on because that's what I always do. And I, I never seem to get the mix right. But next episode, hopefully, I can just talk, talk, talk and not have a moment where I'm not talking. And hopefully I'll have a lot to say. I've tried to do it this episode, but it just seems to be that it's quite hard for me to do things. But this has been just an introductory episode. There's not going to be... A there wasn't intended to be any huge project for this main one. And yeah, that is going to be everything, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button because, yep, it's going to be always appreciated. And let's see if we can actually hit 10 likes for this new series. I know that's a big ask. I got 5 likes on my hype video. Let's see if we can double that. Just see, eh? I hope that we can get at least 5. But please try, please, please, please try and make that 10 because this is going to be a great episode and a great new series so thank you all for watching and i will catch you next time bye bye